I was thinking about using Roo slash Klein as a content writer. Can it write effective content at scale? And more importantly, for very cheap. Now let's test this out. So what you need to do is you need to get the Visual Studio code, go to Klein. I have my MCP server set up already. So I fetch, brave, I have browser use. I have a few of this as well, but I don't really need any of these others to be honest with you. I'm just gonna say, I want to write an article about how to wear a Neapolitan suit or business. I want you to start by doing some research on the topic. Then I want you to go to my website or search my website using search operators. So site to men.it and then keyword. Replacing keyword with something relevant where you can find information and also images that fit the article for my website. So this is a very, very simple prompt. I'm just gonna send this and we're just gonna see what happens. I'm actually gonna change over to RuCode because it handles Shopify websites and other websites a little bit better. This is quite a big problem with Klein. They still haven't worked out how to fix it, basically because there's so much trash on a Shopify website. Let's just see how this looks. I mean, I really like that. I love how it's done those product boxes. I really, really like that. So this would need a little bit more work, a little bit more prompting. I didn't even say, for example, to include internal links and stuff like that. But I think overall, this has done a phenomenal job. Other things that we need to check as well is like how many words it is. So we'll just check that. 1.1K is pretty damn good, to be honest with you. This cost no money, it took five minutes. I don't think it's gonna pass AI detection. Yeah, no, 100% AI. I mean, it's done a pretty good job though. 59% AI generated. So in some parts, it's done a pretty good job. In other parts, it's completely AI generated.